Hi, Superstrews here, back on another Enter Interventions, New Game Minus 4 video, episode 5, and yes, Galactic Sacrifice is here. I can Galactic Sacrifice for one Galaxy Point. This will reset all of my previous progress for one Galaxy Point, and this will unlock a set of upgrades. So let's do it. 3, 2, 1, BAM! <laughs> it says Galactic Sacrifice will do a Galaxy Reset. Then remove all of your galaxies in exchange for galaxy points. You can be used to buy many overpowered upgrades. But it'll take a lot of time to recover. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Three, two, one, bam. So this means actually there's two tabs I unlock, or maybe even three tabs. But this is the this is the main one, galaxy. So it looks like there's three new upgrades compared to tr new game minus minus minus. So there is. Normal and time dimensions are 99% cheaper, and then normal and time dimensions produce 100 times faster. So I feel like this is this is hard. This is a hard pick because I mean this will help the early stuff, but this will like also really help. So I'm really I think normal and time dimensions are 99% cheaper. Is a better thing because that that helps the early stuff, which is just I, I'm really not sure. The, the 100 times fast actually, I think the 100 times faster is better because the thing is that 99% cheaper like isn't really gonna do all that much. I mean, it will it will give me the first few time dimension shifts extremely early, so I guess that will be nice. And apparently, there's it's automating, so I also unlocked an automation tab for auto buyers so I now have a first dimension auto buyer that I guess I can do buys until 10 so and then they cost galaxy points usually they cost infinity points which is a later mechanic and it's also automating time dimensions for some reason well I can, I can already get a new time dimension oh I need to, I need to get um, a first dimension and then I can get a second time dimension, except the automation is buying first time dimensions. For some reason, I have no idea why. There's also challenges, which are based on... Okay, the, this is like infinity challenges. Or not infinity challenges. This is, this is like the challenges, but you normally unlock them much later. It's not a galaxy. It's at, it's at some sort of different thing. It's it's a, it's, a, it's a later mechanic. I'm just gonna say that. I really feel like normal and time dimensions b produce 100 times faster is better. I mean, I'm really not sure. I'm I'm just gonna pick this. It's only 10 times faster, probably because of weird dilation or just yeah, dilation nerfs. I'm also gonna see because because it autobot this time dimension here, which means that if I wait for 20 antimatter um, I'm not sure if it's gonna auto buy the second one if it does not auto buy the second time dimension I feel like it is due to this auto buyer that's also auto buying the first time dimensions if so I I'm probably gonna disable it it's actually not very good so is it gonna buy this no it's not so yeah I, I'm gonna actually disable this this oh it looks like it oh it bought something it bought the first time dimension. Great, now I have to wait even longer. See, this is why I don't want the first time dimension being bought. Like, the second time dimension is just gonna produce first time dimensions. And the thing is that these upgrades don't actually boost each dimension. It just gives you one of that, of that time dimension. So, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do something about this. Maybe I should have gone for the one, for the 99% cheaper. So, yeah, now I can get second time dimensions. Just look how much better this is than before. Like, it's going to give me a lot more tech speed upgrades. I'm starting to regret picking this. But anyway, I, can, I guess I can look at the challenges here. There's Galactic Sacrifice for the first time. I've already completed that. And then these are essentially... It looks like these are just the same as the vanilla challenges, except all you need to do is Galactic Sacrifice, I think. I, that, that's what I think. Because... I mean, it doesn't say other than this first one, so I'm going to assume you, it, it's just Galactic Sacrifice. And these challenges are mostly the same, I think. This this one, some of them are different, though. I, uh, and I don't think this one, 
I think this is the um, similar to the challenge design in new game minus 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 instead of the challenge design in the vanilla game, which is interesting. It's also a challenge here, but it um, but it would normally unlock a, an auto buyer that is irrelevant for this part of the game. So I, I guess what I can do here, I can get this do a time dimension shift, and it's going to be just a lot easier when I can actually control which time dimensions I'm getting. So yeah, you can see just how much better this is. So these challenges, there's this one, which is a new one, I think. it's. Well, I'll, I'm not sure if it's a new one. Now, I think it is. No, it's not quite a new one. It says there is the product of amount instead of the product of bot. Actually, that may be a new one. I don't think I should do the challenges yet. I should just try to get galaxy points first. And then there says you can hold up to 10 oral dimension. This is this is new. This is a new challenge. I don't think I've seen that anywhere. Dimension boost and time dimension boost to buy tick speed multiplier instead. Hmm, interesting. So it's like instead of giving a static multiplier, it's it actually like divides the tick interval. Because vanilla infinity challenge three which may seem, yeah, that may seem weird to you, but it's it's a challenge on the vanilla game. Essentially nerfs the tech suit upgrades, so apparently that buffs them, except maybe it won't buff them, because it's a challenge, and then tech speed multiplier boost to time dimensions is weaker. So it looks like these last four are are completely new for New Game Minus 4. Like, you don't even see them in, like, New Game Minus, Minus, Minus. But the thing is, it's at, at the very least, this game... Is quite a bit faster. Like I'm doing multiple time dimension shifts in one sitting, which is pretty amazing. So next thing up, next upgrade I'm gonna get is definitely gonna be this this one. Normal on time dimensions are 99% cheaper. I probably should have gotten that. I'm really not sure which one I should have got. Like it's 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 really strange. But anyway, I'm getting close to 120 antimatter here, which allows me to get this time dimension here. So here we go. This is going to be, should be even faster. Yeah, it's, it, it's actually quite a bit faster. Like, it's actually really nice to have reasonable antimatter per second growth. In, instead of 0 0.005 antimatter per second. Like, that that's going to get you almost nowhere. I'm also thinking of waiting until 80 antimatter instead of 40 antimatter because the fourth time dimension produces these third time dimensions. So remember, like, do, buying these does nothing other than give one of these time dimension shifts. Or, not time dimension shifts, but, you know, just one of the first time dimensions. Also, while I'm waiting, I can look at the upgrades here. I haven't really looked at the... It looks like these are the same as in New Game Minus, Minus, Minus. So, like, is it, like this, this is the same... I have no idea how what this is. Reduce the dimension boost cost multiplier to 10, even though it already is 10. Maybe this is like post 8th dimension, because I'm just going to say there's no 9th dimension. I know, it's crazy, right? But anyway, I'm, I'm now getting more time dimensions, and this will definitely help growth. Now I'm getting close to 2 antimatter per second, and... And then eventually I can start getting more normal dimensions, which will give me... Like, I think if I got one more of these, that should double my antimatter per second. So, and then I can get up to 10. Then I'll multiply this by 10. And then it'll also give me another 2 times multiplier here, which... That's like a 20, 20 times multiplier to antimatter per second. Now, it's not quite going to be like that because of dilation nerfs. Like, because this two times will actually act like something like maybe 1.6 times. And that's still like a 16 times boost to antimatter production. So, that's really good. It looks like maybe I shouldn't get 10 of these because the thing is that this costs the same as that. I feel like I should get at least a few of these, though. So, like, maybe up to 5 or, yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking up to 5. Uh, not may not be the best idea, but whatever. It, that's what I'm going to do, anyways. So here's three. I'm now getting 17 antimatter per second, and like I and there's no like oh I, I'm gonna wait a few hours. No, there's none of that. I, I'm just doing this all in one sitting, which is.
pretty amazing. So yeah, here it is. Here is the five first dimensions. Now I'm just gonna wait to 6.4 e2, which is really, I it's in it's in hexadecimal notation. So that that's why it looks really weird. I just chose hexadecimal notation just because uh, I don't know why. I just picked it. So it should be something like like something like a thousand to a to 1500 antimatter. That's how much it should be. So let's see how, how close I am. Okay, I'm pretty close. I need 6.4 E2. I'm now up to almost 5 E2. So yeah, this is really close. I, I maybe could have bought a few more of these. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm now going to do one more time dimension. Oh yeah, it's 10 fourth time dimension. I, 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 for, I keep forgetting that that starts at the fourth time dimension instead of the fifth time dimension. Whatever, whatever. I, I, I can just get, I can get a few more of these, and I guess that will help. And now I'm getting 120 antimatter per second, which is enough to get a second dimension. And that's going to be pretty huge. With, with all these tick speed upgrades here, it's it's 200 tick speed upgrades. So that will give, that will allow me to, once I get C E2 antimatter. That will allow me to get second dimensions. I'm not sure how quickly they're going to boost the first dimensions. Should be pretty quick. Uh, oh, okay. That's not as quick as I thought it was going to be. But it's still actually okay. And here's a tick speed upgrade. I, I like that I'm just, like, commenting on individual tick speed upgrades. Like, it's... I don't know. It's just throwback to... I mean, this throwback to the beginning of Antimatter Dimensions. I guess this is what it's like. But, okay. I can just show you that this does nothing. Like, I'm getting these, and it's not affecting that multiplier. I just wanted to show you that. Just, yeah, I don't know why, but I did. I'm just going to get more of these, and this will start really buffing my antimatter per second. To the point where I don't think I'm going to be able to get this time dimension shift in this sitting. I mean, maybe I will. I'm up to getting E3 antimatter per second. So, this is definitely, it's definitely faster than before. I can get another fourth time dimension, except I'm going to need something like E, I don't know, B or C on the exponent. And, yeah, that's that's going to be pretty slow. Like, I, like even with, like, third dimensions and a lot, it's just going to be, it's just going to feel slow. So, I mean, I could wait for this F, E, 4, and it's better to get the third dimension. It's actually not that far away, considering how, yeah, it's, it's probably only 20 seconds away. So, I could just wait this out. Like, that isn't, that isn't that much. 20 seconds wait is nothing in New Game Minus 4, where originally all the waits were measured in hours. And now they're, like, less than a minute. So, okay, here it is. Here is the third dimension, which is going to produce second dimensions a little bit quicker. And that'll help the first dimensions. And I can, I can keep getting these. Now it's probably closer to a 15-second wait to get each individual one of these. And the thing is that each individual one of these is actually significant. Un unlike a lot of unlike a lot of other things that like like later on you'll notice like if you if you've watched any of my other series, eventually individual one of these are gonna become insignificant. So yeah. I don't wanna spoil too much from the other ones, but I mean, I'm not sure what this game is going to be like later. Like, like the new Galaxy upgrades are a surprise to me. Like, these these two are completely new for New Game Minus 4. And I guess I probably could go over them. So here's 10 of the third dimensions. I guess I can get a tick speed thing. And the thing is that these, individual one of these, is actually significant because it'll increase that multiplier up here. So you can see 8.0, 8.8, 9.6... Or I could just buy the Intel 10 to get it up to 16. And I just wanted to point that out. So now while I'm in this bit of weight, I can look at these. Tick speed multiplier boosts time dimensions more based on your galaxy points. So it's at, okay, okay, it must be this multiplier will boost the time dimensions more. It's based on galaxy points. Like a lot of the other, up, other upgrades like are here. Like these are based on galaxy points. And I, th I think, yeah, this one's also based in galaxy points. And this is each bot time dimension boosts normal dimension by the product of x over 6 and the multiplier of product of bots. I don't know what the multiplier of product of bots.
bot with the uh, this is that's confusing but maybe it will have an effect later on I, I have no idea but anyway I can get up to six fourth time dimensions I can actually start getting fourth dimensions which is pretty nice and another tick speed upgrade I already have 241 here so that's really nice I'm really not sure what this last upgrade is I mean maybe if I get like more of these like time dimensions over like here like they're just so cheap right here that I'm just gonna buy them even though they do nothing like maybe that will change this no it does not change that so maybe that's just because I don't have it yet but uh, th this is really confusing it I maybe it's, it's I think it's based on this and it's like based on the amount of time dimensions I bought and and this multiplier so me eventually it'll it'll be okay to like buy all these time dimensions as much as I want so, I can get a dimension shift, except it may reset my time dimension shifts. If I go here, it says upon a time dimension boost, your your dimension boosts don't reset. So, that's, that's only upon a time dimension boost. I, I know dimension boost does not reset time dimension shifts, but it does reset like my antimatter and time dimensions. So, I'd rather not do that, and I'd rather just get these upgrades so I can yeah now I'm, I'm 8 out of 10 so it looks like I can actually get all the way up to 10 fourth time dimensions in one sitting this is sort of like episode 2 of new game minus 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 except since this is new game minus 4 it's episode 5 because of new game minus 4 is even slower it looks like there is going to be a little bit of a wait here because the next thing is like actually I can get this soon but Everything else, I can, no, I can get this. It's, it's everything's cheaper than I think it's gonna be. I mean, all this is really gonna do is affect this multiplier up here, and it's it's gonna be at most like a 1.6 times multiplier to all dimensions. But that's actually still pretty good. So I'll I'll take what I can get here, and then this is only a slightly cheaper, or, or it's it's about the same price as the ninth one of these. So yeah, I'm just gonna get this here. All I need is 2.54 EB antimatter, which is like probably 40 seconds wait, maybe even less. So I'm not even sure if I want this tick speed upgrade because I'm so close at this point. Like I'm now up to EB, I'm now halfway there. Yeah, it's just gonna take like 10 more seconds and I will be all the way up to the fourth time dimension shift. So. New Game Minus 4 has gotten a lot faster. Like, you're just gonna... I'm, I'm just gonna show you this. Look at this. This is gonna... I'm already up to, like, half an antimatter per second. And it's just... I feel like the best strategy is, is to just get, like, 80 antimatter. And then start getting first dimensions. And once you get the 10 first dimensions, the antimatter production, like, skyrockets. And it starts feeling... I mean, maybe not fast, but it feels a lot faster, especially for a mod like this. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.